Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds! Last time we completed the Desert Palace and we rescued yet another descendant of the Seven Sages, Irene. And we are here in Hyrule to start off this episode because finally we can lift this pesky boulder right here and access this cave which leads us to a piece of heart. And actually this is part of the final four pieces of heart that we are going to be collecting for a new heart container. So only three more left to go. But before we continue doing what we're gonna be doing in this episode, I actually wanna make my way over here really quickly. Uh, let's see, am I going the correct way? Yes I am actually. Because I wanted to go near the fortune teller's house to lift up this boulder. So, let us go... For, did I just say fortune teller's house? Does he... Well, technically he does live here. I, whatever, it's his tent. Anyway, inside the cave is actually a fairy fountain. So, if you need to fill up on hearts or you have empty bottles, there you go. You have a fairy fountain. Another fairy fountain, I should say. Now to help you out. Alright, so now let us fly to the sanctuary... And as you can see now, Irene is back! Technically, she's speaking to you telepathically. Uh, she does that after you rescue her, so it's pretty cool. But anyway, let us head inside the sanctuary <laughs> inside the sanctuary, and not hug the gate here. Slow down. Grab the gate. Anyway, head inside. And we are actually going to be teleporting to... Well, well not teleport, but we're going to be... Going back to low rule. And once we exit the Philosopher's Cave here, we are going to be heading over here to the east. And we are going to be going back technically into the underbelly, the sewer area of the under the sanctuary, but this is the Philosopher's Cave, not the sanctuary, so it's a little bit different. But anyway, look! It's Dompe? C -c can it be you? You can see Dompe? Not a soul has spoken to Dompe for so long. Dompe's old bones are nearly falling apart. It's been so long. Dompe used to be the gravekeeper here, but now there aren't any graves to keep. Was there something the graves were protecting? Dompe can't even remember. Yes, he is Dompe with a question mark. I just love that little detail. It's kind of sad, but it's still pretty uh, pretty neat. But anyway, there's actually another weather vane right here, funnily enough. So let us activate that. Why not? Let's activate the graveyard weather vane for low rule. No, we will not save the game. I only save after recordings are pretty good. Uh, did you really have to hit? Did you really have to hit me? Ugh. Anyway, under this rock here, we can go underneath the graveyard yet again. Well, in low rule, I should say. We can go underneath it in low rule. And we can access the next air. Well, what we're doing in here is we're going to eventually get another piece of master ore but of course we need to navigate through here first oh there's actually a treasure chest there it's one green rupee <laughs> that is the best that's actually really funny i actually like that i'm not mad that i just got trolled uh anyway in this room of oh, well another treasure chest five rupees all right we're getting richer guys uh, oh well oh, oh. can you rope snake can it you rope snake? Yes. Can you not rope snake? There we go. Alright, let's head up here. And now where we found a piece of heart in Hyrule, if we head up here, we can go over here. Another treasure chest which contains 20 rupees. Alright. I think that wasn't that a key location in uh, the other one. But anyway, there is a key right here where the piece of heart in Hyrule was. And we actually need this key to go to the next room. Alright, so let's make our way back to the staircase. So many keys in the way! My goodness. Unlock the door, head to the next room. And inside here, we got our friends again. The Igors, or whatever the hell they're called. Uh, let's activate that other one while we're here. Why not? Let's get 
that, let's get that, even though we can't carry those rupees, but, you know, might as... I, I was gonna say, can you please die? Why are you hitting me so much? Freaking Igor, anyway. Through here. Oh, we need to pull a switch again, alright. Well, let's go with the right. Oh wow, that's actually correct! I forgot that they uh, switched it back up to be like A Link to the Past, and the right one in the in low rule is correct when in high rule it was opposite from A Link to the Past. That's so cool. Anyway, up the stairs we go to this cave here, and what you need to do is you need to merge on the wall in order to access the big chest, and inside is the final piece of Master Ore, and we can actually upgrade the Master Sword again for the final time actually but this time we have to uh, we have to upgrade it at the blacksmith in low rule so let us use the bell irene's bell that bell i didn't give you something earlier <laughs> all right i <laughs> didn't give you something earlier on the easier earlier on the gears easier on the gears anyway you just said something about cuckoos and i missed it oh well Anyway, now that we're here at the low rule blacksmith, would you- I hate that they- those freak out unless you save the game. It's really annoying, but anyway. Low rule blacksmith, I am here to get my master sword upgraded. What say you now? Here I am! I finally found some motivation, and we don't got any of that master ore! Without that, I can't power up your sword! No so- Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Look at what you've got! Just look at it! With that Master Ore, I can strengthen your sword! How about it? Yes, please! Oi! Come now! Let's get to tempering this guy's sword! Give me a hand! Okay, let's do it! My arms are itching to start smithing! Okay, I talk a good game, but now it's time for me to back it up! Mm-hmm! There we have her! And the Master Sword has been upgraded to its maximum strength! That is a true hero's weapon, indeed! What do you think? Told you I was number one! This here is the mightiest sword there is! You're gonna be unstoppable now, kid! Yeah, ha, ha look at it, that. It's a fine piece of work, a fine piece of work indeed. All right, and there we go. We upgraded the Master Sword to its full potential. And look, just look at, look at this. Look at the golden power. Look at the golden power. Oh, look at that. Less hits on these guys. Oh, oh, take that. Get, get. Get out of here. Get at oh, oh, that's so glorious. Anyways, I need some hearts. <laughs> uh, I probably shouldn't have messed with those guys, but you know. Anyway, uh, now that we're done with that, I'll be I'll just I'll just leave you to that over there. Oh, look at that. These guys go down in one hit now. Oh, the level three master sword. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Anyways, let us make our way down. Oh, actually, um, uh, should I show this off or should I save this? I don't know, because there is this cave right here that we could enter, but I think I want to save that for a later time. Yes, I know, I am a massive troll, or a dick, if you will, but anyway, over here, let's take you out. This is the next dungeon that we're going to be completing. Next time on The Legend of Zelda... Oh, actually, I need my hook shot really quickly, so let me bring that out there. Put it on the Y button. There we go. All right, and now that we are over here, next time on The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, we will be tackling the Swamp Palace. So with that, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. And also, I apologize in this fans if this episode is rather short compared to the other ones, because, I mean, we actually did a lot. We did the Master Ore, we upgraded the Master Sword, we got another piece of heart, 
So we did a lot of stuff, it's just I did it way too fast and now there's like no time. Honestly, I probably should go in that cave there. Oh well. Anyways, <laughs> enough of my rambling. Thank you for watching and I will see you then. Okay, I get that this game is the successor to A Link to the Past, but that doesn't mean we have to actually be in the past and have videos that are under 11 minutes. Come on now! So, I guess to fill some content, I can show off this one portion of the Skull Woods, where, in a secluded little area, all to himself in a cave, there is a mysterious man, although he does mention that he was a trunking guy uh, in Low Rule Field, which um, makes him the equivalent to the bouldering guy that we delivered that premium milk to on Death Mountain in Hyrule. Anyway, this mysterious man slash trunking guy actually has very funny dialogue where he talks about um, not listening to strangers. It's very funny. But all in all, the main purpose of the mysterious man here in this cave in Skull Woods is that he will sell you a golden bee for 888 rupees. So, if you did not have the good fortune of finding a 1 in 50 chance golden bee out and about in high rule or low rule, then you can come here to the Skull Woods, buy a gold bee from the mysterious man for 888 rupees, then you can get the bee badge from the bee guy in Hyrule, allowing regular bees and golden bees to work alongside you and take down enemies. So you can bond that way, thanks to the mysterious man, if you have enough rupees, which I more than certainly have enough, and finally my wallet isn't maxed out for like the first time in forever, thanks to this guy. Maybe I'll buy a lot of golden bees and just use them to take care of enemies and actually that's a very good strategy I should probably do that uh, anyway that is going to do it for this small little filler portion of the episode I just wanted to show this off cuz I mean come on this isn't 2008 or anything we can we can do more than 11 minute episodes there's no time limit anymore so with that being said I'm gonna return to the Swamp Palace and next time we're definitely gonna be doing that and it should last more than what's this episode gonna be in total like 14 minutes so yeah next time Swamp Palace thanks for watching and happy bee exploring or buying exploiting exploiting actually works because we're buying the bees for nearly 900 happy exploiting of bees Hopefully you have the B-Badge though, because uh, that would probably help. Anyways, see you next time!